Hello everybody, I am Rene Michaelis, and yes, I am talking over a picture of myself. It's just that I've been really tired and exhausted lately, and it's just been raining and storming non-stop, so I've just been feeling depressed and anxiety, so, well, because I've just been tired and exhausted lately, I'm just not in the mood to get on camera, so I hope a picture of myself would suffice. Anyway, today we're going to talk about Hotep Nation. So, I'm just going to be highlighting the statements that I'm critical of. However, the link would be in the description below. Now, my problem with this one is that it's vague and unspecific. Like, what do they mean by deliberate agenda to break up the black family? Are they talking about Hollywood? Are they talking about Huffington Post? What are they talking about? It's very vague and unspecific. Okay, so the question is, why did you say that there is no racism? And the response is, the, in the movie The Great Debaters, the inspirational dialogue goes Who is your opponent? He doesn't exist. Why does he not exist? Because he is merely a dissenting voice to the truth I speak. We do in fact recognize racism as a system, but will not allow it to hinder us by simply removing it as a hurdle in our minds. It's a psychological strategy. The problem with that is that um, if you recognize racism, then you do acknowledge that it exists. You do believe it exists, you're just not allowing it to hinder you. And it makes no sense to say racism doesn't exist when many people acknowledge it exists. Racism is the prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against someone of a different race based on the belief that one's own race is superior. So if somebody views themselves as superior to you because you're black, then that person is being racist against you, whether you acknowledge it or not. Can white people be Hotep, Christian, Muslim? Anyone can join Hotep. There are no racial barriers. But the goal is to uplift. It says up lights, but I think they meant to say uplift the black community across the globe. Since it's the most abused and oppressed, especially on the South American and African continents. When really, aren't white people in South Africa have it the hardest? Like the white South African farmers are the ones who have their lands taken away. And the white South African farmers suffer through genocide. I wouldn't think anybody would want to be a white person in Zimbabwe. This one is, um, what is the goal of the Hotep Nation? We plan on focusing our people around economics by pushing them to develop new skills. We believe that people, we believe that we need to shift the black community from being capital consumers to becoming capital producers. That's why we can build a strong economic base. We also seek to instill a better diet as black suffer from illnesses incomparable to any other group of people like heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. Lastly, we believe in exercising our spirituality, faculties above and beyond structured religions. I can get behind, you know, better diets and whatnot. But again, my problem is that this is vague and unspecific. Like, how are you going to help black people develop new skills? What are you actually doing to help black people build new skills? Do you have a YouTube channel 
dedicated to teaching black people how to cook? Do you have a YouTube channel dedicated to teaching black people economy? What are you actually doing? This is being vague because you're not explaining how. What is the relationship between Hotep and Egypt? Nothing. <laughs> Sorry, a little joke there. The term Hotep stems from ancient Egypt Kemet's. Often people will say that this is the only thing Hotep talk about, and that's not true. Hotep still recognize the dynasties of West Africa, like the Empire of Mali and other notable ro royalty like Queen, not going to even bother. We recognize the history of all groups of African people across the continents. Egypt happens to be one of the seven wonders of the world. The architecture is unparalleled and even modern technology cannot duplicate it. Why would modern technology would want to duplicate it? I mean, there are some Chinese architecture which is mind-blowing. It is the birthplace of Greek philosophy, citation needed, mathematics, language, science, and monotheism, citation needed. Like, you could be right, you could be completely right, but I need you to cite your sources. We believe that it's a sacred to our history. How? I mean, there are black people from Nigeria, there are black people from Tanzania. And, um, I think Tildir debunked this. Like, I think that um, Tildir was going after Turk Nasheed, the idea that black people are Egyptians. And I heard that Egyptians have always been more closer to whites looking. Many blacks complain when whites are portrayed as royalty in ancient Egyptian movies. They may call this cultural appropriation. But if you do not claim your own history, especially someone else, to and they will create economic surrounded when again i think that egyptians have always been white looking uh, but i could be wrong but i do think that till deer has already addressed this i mean when going after Tariq nasheed because some because Tariq nasheed says the same thing like yeah we black people were egyptians and somebody decided to try to refute that now, the, the final thing that I would like to address is what does Hotep do for the community? Which I believe is a fair question, especially if you want donations. If you want people to donate money to your cause, people need to know what exactly you're doing. So the reply is a bit of a cop-out. One should not ask what the Hoteps are doing for the community. The community should ask, Itself, what's this doing for the community? Well, if you're not going to actually answer the questions, then I, I, I don't feel like donating to help. A community is made up of individuals and families. Hotels build strong individuals and families. How? What are you doing to do that? Which by default creates stronger community. How? Give me examples. I mean, I need to see evidence and proof. Anyway, this has been Remy Kylas, and I'd like to thank all of you so much for listening. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you're a whole tip, then hey, just reach out to me and let's have a conversation about this. I am willing to talk to Hotep. I have tried to get into contacts with Uncle Hotep and tried to do a live stream with him. And I would really like to have a conversation, start to dialogue. Again, thank you for watching. Be sure to like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.